In some TV dramas, a maid could become the concubine through sleeping with the host. In real history, most time is not true. You may hardly believe it. In ancient China, a man could sleep with his maid and didn't necessarily marry her. Generally, parents choosing some trusted girls to work as private maid for their son. Those private maids actually were concubine candidates. So before get married, a man may already have physical relationship with his maids, but those maids were not allowed to have kids. After the man got married, those maids had a chance to become concubine. In ancient time, when an upper class girl got married, her parents not only give her assets, but also give her servants. The noble girl usually brought her most trusted maids to her husband's family. When the wife couldn't sleep with the husband, like she was pregnant, she may let her maid to sleep with her husband. Then the wife could decide whether let this maid to become concubine. If having physical relationship with the husband couldn't guarantee a maid to become concubine. How about pregnancy? The answer also was no. In Ming Dynasty, there was a famous travel writer and geographer called Xu Xiake. He was well known by today's people because of his book Xu Xiake Yu Ji, Xu Xiake's Travel. The final version of this book was finished by Li Ji. Li Ji was Xu Xiaoke's son. Now, do you feel something weird? Why Xu Xiaoke's son's family name was Li, not Xu? Li Ji was born by Xu Xiaoke's maid Zhou Shi. Zhou Shi had a physical relationship with Xu Xiaoke, but She found she was pregnant after Xu Xiaoke leave home to travel. Xu Xiaoke's wife forced Zhou Shi to get married with a farmer. Li Ji was born in Li family, so he had to use Li as his family name. When Li Ji grew up, he tried several times to come back to Xu clan. But didn't success. Xu Xiaoke had four sons. Li Ji didn't have chance to inherit Xu Xiaoke's asset, but he did get his father's talents and still be remembered by today's people. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.